So we managed to compile this project, CICD demo and create a build artifact. Now, what if I want to create another build configuration for CICD demo two? The process is same. I just need the clone URL of CICD demo two. I have to go to .NET Core projects, click on edit project settings. And then under build configurations, there is a button that says create build configuration. I click on it and we can call this CI CD demo two. I need to create a new VCS route. And for the name, we can say CI CD demo two. Fetch URL is the clone URL that I got from GitHub. And because we want to use username and password, we say authentication method is password. Username was team city dash octopus with a password. Test connection. Connection is successful. Create. And then we go and create build steps. So I add a build step of .NET Core and we can call this restore and build is restore. And I can add another build step .NET Core. We can call this publish. Command is publish and project. If you remember, we chose a project. If you use PHP or Java, you just use exact same commands and steps that you used when we compiled the first project. And we can say output directory is build. And we said that uh, anything that is in build folder should be added to a zip file we can call this ci cd underline demo 2.zip okay so now i have two build configuration one of them is ci cd demo and one of them is ci cd demo 2 what we noticed right now is that the process of creating ci cd demo 2 was almost identical with ci cd demo so i basically repeated the same thing and you know that repeating things is not a good idea let's have a look at these two projects and find the similarities in here so ci cd demo 2 has this clone link which is github.com slash name of organization slash name of repository dot git cicd demo 2 basically has the same clone url so that is github.com name of organization and then cicd demo dash 2 git so what if we use always same clone url and only change this bit because from one repository to another repository only this bit is changing so why should i repeat the same process so in order to do that we can move our source code connection from the build configuration one level higher so now every build configuration has its own connection to the source control we can take this out move it to one level higher if we look at this breadcrumb here one level higher is basically the project not the build configuration if we wanted to move this vcs or version control setting to the top level so every single build configuration and project inherited we could take it to root project because everything gets inherited from root project that's not a good idea because then that limits you to one organization or one set of repositories if your company has for example .NET and java and android you may have separate organizations or you may have separate set of repositories controlled by different teams so it's not a good idea to put everything in root project you may want to give the flexibility of changing the settings based on groups or teams so if you create for example one set of projects for one team then you can um, put all the configurations in that project so if i go to dotnet core projects you will see that there is vcs roots in here and these are all the vcs roots that have so what we can do instead of having multiple um, vcs roots or connection to source control we can create a vcs root or version control system here we can say it's going to be git the root name it can be for example .NET core source something like this and fetch url can be grabbed from any of these .NET core urls 
However, as I said, what changes in here is the repository name. So we can turn this to a parameter or variable. In order to create a parameter or a variable in TeamCT, you just have to use two percentage characters and then put the name of your parameter in here. For example, we can call this repository name or repository or something like this. And the username and password is same for all repositories. So I can use again team CT underline octopus with my password and click on create. Don't click on test connection because it's gonna fail. And the reason is that uh, this repository doesn't have any values yet. So now I have a VCS root which has basically a parameter in it. Now we need to give value to this parameter. So if I go to CI CD demo one build configuration and click on edit configuration settings, first thing I can do is to go to version control settings. I can detach this and then I can say attach VCS root. And instead of creating a VCS root now, we can say attach existing VCS root and we can use .NET Core source. We can use that. And now you see that there is a tab called parameters and there is an exclamation mark next to it. That means that there is a parameter that needs a value. That exclamation mark needs you need to specify values. So all the parameters that you either define in parameter section in here or you implicitly create it somewhere, they will appear here and they need value. So for CICD demo 2, the value that we need to put is basically this part of the clone URL. So for now, this is the name of the parameter repository. This is the value. And we attached the VCS root from the project to build configuration. In the project, that VCS root is defined. So what we can do is that we can basically delete the other VCS roots that we don't need. I can do the same thing for CRCD demo 2. So if I go to CRCD demo 2 build configuration and click on edit, build configuration, I can go to version control settings, detach the existing ones, and we can attach the one that is basically created at project level. And again, in parameters, we can go and give the repository a value, which is in case of CICD demo two, it is CICD demo two. Okay, let me just double check and make sure that for CRCD demo, I use the correct parameter. No, it's not correct. I have to remove this dash two. Okay, now if I go to .NET Core project edit and go to VCS root, we can basically delete all the other ones that were created at build configuration level. So now we have only one VCS root, which means it's cleaner. It's a lot easier to maintain. If you want to move your source code somewhere else, you only need to change one VCS root definition. For example, your company decides that they want to go from say Bitbucket to GitHub or from GitHub hub to team foundation server and then all you need to change in your team city is one vcs root or source control setting now if i go and run any of these they will build successfully without any problems because they get the value from the parameter so both succeeded. Okay, can we take this further and even use the parameters in other areas? Yes, we can and we do that in the next lecture.